What's up guys? Today I am going to be making the successor to what is my most popular ring project of all time, and that is the Obsidian Superconductor Ring. And to do this, I had to source a new pattern of superconductor, one that has a tighter filament pattern. And what that's going to do is it's going to give it a more of a geometric look, as well as a more refined look. So I've got really high hopes for this ring. I think it's going to turn out beautifully. Let's go ahead and get right into the making. All right, first up, I need to cut off a slice of superconductor here. And you'll notice I'm doing it at an angle. What this does is it exposes all of the different superconductor filaments at just various angles and gives it a really nice and unique look. You'll see how that affects the ring once it's finished. And then because I cut it at an angle, it's got this kind of oblong shape to it. So I'm gonna quickly go over to my belt sander, round this off, and then it's gonna be ready to throw into the lathe. Now I'll use a drill bit to bore a hole through the center of it. That gets things ready for my boring bar, which I can then use to continue to widen it out further. And I'll stop just below the size I wanna go for. That'll give me plenty of room for all the sanding and finishing that we'll do later. And while I'm doing all this boring, I'm being really careful to make sure I'm getting nice and clean cuts. I'm using a very sharp lathe bit. And that's because if you're not careful, superconductor can smear. That's because it's made of two different materials. And so you gotta make sure you're using all of the right equipment. Otherwise, the patterns that you're left with are gonna be way less crispy. They're not gonna look as nice. Now I've got the inside to the size that I want. You'll notice I haven't done any rounding or anything to that yet. We're gonna do that in a second. But now I'm gonna pull out one of my Patrick Adair Supplies ring mandrels, and then we'll work on trimming down the outer diameter. We'll get this thing looking a lot more like an actual ring. And then those same concepts I was just talking about apply here as well. I just wanna make sure I'm using all the proper equipment. That way I'm left with the best results that have the best looking superconductor pattern. Now that I've got it down to pretty much its final size, I'm going to throw it into the lathe jaws again, and I'm going to round off the inside of it using my rough Dremel bit here. I like to give my rings a lot of comfort finish, that way they're just super comfortable to wear. And then once I've done the bulk of the shaping with the Dremel, I switch over to my sandpaper, and that's to just clean things up, get things super smooth, and I start at a really low grit. I, I, I usually, for superconductors, start at about 150 grit, and then I work my way all the way up to about 2000 grit, switch over to some of my polish, and we get a really nice uh, finish on the inside here. We're gonna do some final polishing later, but it's always good to make it look good at the beginning, that way you know you're on the right path. All right, now it's time to make this ring look really unique. And to do that, I'm going to give it what I call an obsidian finish. And for that, I'm using my belt sander. I've switched it over to a 600 grit belt, so I'll leave it with a really nice surface finish. And my technique here is fairly straightforward. So what I'm doing is I'm using the belt sander to sand flat faces onto the ring. And I adjust the angle at which I do that every few steps. And so that gives me a really just kind of randomized beveled pattern onto the ring that will look really, really good once we're done. It catches light at all sorts of different angles and just has an amazing look to it that I think just matches the look of the superconductor in general just really nicely.
All right, I've got all of the bevels in place. It's time to go over to the buffing wheel and I'm gonna spend a lot of time here, about 10 minutes, and just going all over every single surface of the ring. I start out with a rougher grit polish and then I finish up with this fine green polish. And I'm just spending a really long time here just because I wanna make sure this thing is uh, really nice and smooth. It's not gonna snag on anything and uh, to give it just a really nice polished and reflective look. All right, now it's time for what I would say is the most important step. This is what really kind of brings the ring to life, and that is the acid etching. So to do that, I'm using muriatic acid as well as some highly concentrated hydrogen peroxide. And what that does is it eats away at the copper, but it doesn't eat away at the titanium niobium superconductor filaments. And so it gives it this really just kind of out of this world look where a part of the ring has been etched and eaten away, but the rest of it is fully intact. And in fact, it doesn't even affect the polish on the titanium niobium. So it's a really, really interesting step that gives the ring just such an amazing look. And after about 30 minutes in that acid bath, this thing is finished. And as you can see, this thing looks absolutely phenomenal. I, I really love the more refined look that this new pattern of superconductor has, as well as just that high polish I gave it. It's just so reflective. It just looks amazing from a mile away. I love this ring. It looks fantastic. It was just a lot of fun to make. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to check out what I'm working on. If you wanna order one of these rings, we of course have it listed on the website. If you wanna order any of the equipment needed to make the rings that I do, you can check out the link to our supplies website. That's in the description as well. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I feel like this one was a little bit overdue. I think the superconductor ring needed a worthy successor and this I'm really, proud to call it successor. I think it looks amazing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next week.